world, friends. Welcome to Noonish Prayer for uh, Thursday, September the 10th. I'm coming to you from home today, uh, doing some work from here. So please uh, excuse my uh, t-shirt appearance, um, but it's just more comfortable to work this way at home. Um, today, September the 10th, is National TV Dinner Day. I do not know why TV Dinner Day is celebrated on September 10th, uh, but I did read this that I thought was interesting. The, the first TV dinner was made in 1953, 1953, by the C.A. Swanson and Sons Company, and they changed the meal business, the prepackaged meal business forever with the TV dinner. Now, curiously, I read that in 1962, Swanson stopped using the name TV dinner, and yet that name stuck, at least here in the United States, and we still call them that today. Um, when Swanson's first sold their TV dinners, they were priced at 98 cents. It was probably an extravagance at that time, even though that seems like such a small amount of money for us today. I also found it interesting that in their first year, uh, they estimated that they were going to reach selling 5,000 dinners in their first year. In the first year, they sold more than 10 million. We love our convenience items, don't we? Maybe we don't use TV dinners in quite the same way today that we used to, but there are plenty of other things that we get pre-packaged and pre-made uh, for our convenience. And uh, sometimes that's a good thing, right? The convenience, you always pay a little more for the convenience, but sometimes it allows us to, to enjoy more of our time doing other things that might be more important uh, to us than the cooking. cooking. I know one of my uh, guilty, uh, not guilty pleasures, but uh, guilty extravagances is I buy pre-chopped onions and then stick them in the freezer because I truly hate chopping up onions. Uh, but of course you need onions in so many things. So I always have a store of them in my freezer ready to go that have been pre-chopped. Could I have saved money by actually buying onions and chopping them myself? Obviously, yes. Could people have saved money by making their own dinners rather than TV dinners? Of course, but uh, sometimes convenience is a good thing. Um, last evening, we met for our book chat on the book Eat, Pray, Love, and uh, we had just, a I thought, a delightful time. There were 10 of us gathered, and we're going to read another book and prepare to discuss it again. Um, probably not going to get together for another book chat until January because of course we have another book that I have asked people to read coming up and that's Austin Channing Brown's book, I'm Still Here, that we're going to have an extended discussion about uh, beginning in October. I hope you're planning on reading that book. I hope you've gotten your hands on it already and are reading it in preparation. But I know that there are readers out there. I know that there are more than the 10 of us who gathered last night by Zoom. So. Um, be thinking about if there is a book that you are reading or that you have read recently or even a book that you've heard about and would really like to read and discuss it with uh, some friends in Christ, then shoot me an email or comment right here on this Facebook post and we'll put that book into our consideration for what we might discuss next time around. So uh, let's, uh, let's all keep reading and Let's enjoy one another's company and discuss what we read together. Now I invite you into a time of prayer. The peace of the Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins 
as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our scripture reading today comes from 1 Thessalonians, the second chapter, beginning at the ninth verse. You remember our labor and toil, brothers and sisters. We worked night and day so that we might not burden any of you while we proclaimed to you the gospel of God. You are witnesses, and God also, how pure, upright, and blameless our conduct was toward you believers. As you know, we dealt with each one of you like a father with his children, urging and encouraging you and pleading that you lead a life worthy of God, who calls you into his own kingdom and glory. We also constantly give thanks to God for this, that when you received the word of God that you heard from us, you accepted it not as a human word, but as what it really is, God's word, which is also at work in you believers. For you, brothers and sisters, became imitators of the churches of God in Christ Jesus that are in Judea. For you suffered the same things from your own compatriots as they did from the Jews, who killed both the Lord Jesus and the prophets and drove us out. They displease God and oppose everyone by hindering us from speaking to the Gentiles so that they may be saved. Thus they have constantly been filling up with filling up the measure of their sins, but God's wrath has overtaken them at last. Here ends today's reading. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. I invite you now in this time to offer your own petitions and thanksgivings to God. O Lord God, merciful judge, you are the inexhaustible fountain of forgiveness. Replace our hearts of stone with hearts that love and adore you, that we may delight in doing your will. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. O gracious and holy Father, give us wisdom to perceive you diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, 
eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.